Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Oksana Zabushko. Uh, I'm very happy to meet you here tonight to have this uh, opportunity to have a conversation with you. How would you characterize the, um, today's Ukraine uh, to someone who doesn't know this country? Uh, well, thank you very much for this question. Um, good evening. <laughs> to begin with, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bonsoir. Good evening. Thank you all for coming. Uh, okay, if asked to characterize Ukraine briefly, I would start with showing it on the map. <laughs> which, uh, which might not always be superfluous, because sometimes people uh, are really shocked to hear, oh, it's such a big country. Well, yes, it is. Oh, you have such great city. Uh, well, that was mostly the reaction of the Western journalists who were coming uh, to Kiev for the first time in their life during the Orange Revolution. Oh, it's such a grand city. Uh, what did you expect? A village or what? Um, well, and uh, so uh, map work. Uh, maps, maps usually work because it really gives you an idea uh, well, of uh, the, of yes, it is a big country. Yes, it's a country with a very complicated and multifarious history, which you probably don't want to hear tonight. Uh, uh, well, yes, it is a burden in democracy. Uh, well, and yes, uh, the most helpful saying always uh, when explaining where I am from is, you know, this is the country where Orange Revolution happened. Ah, okay, then everyone would know. So I always warn the audience, well, in every country where I come for the book presentation, uh, I al I'm always saying, uh, well, uh, don't expect any Ukrainian Kama Sutra. <laughs> well... <laughs> If you think it is, <laughs> if you think it's about the sex life of Ukrainians, you are going to waste your money. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, uh, in fact, um, you know, it's been yes, it is a love story. Well, yes, it is the story of the broken relationship of two Ukrainian intellectuals, her a poet and him a painter who came to America, and America is a kind of an extreme of the Western civilization for the Eastern European, in the eyes of the Eastern European intellectuals. Uh, so this is important. The whole point, uh, and this book, uh, when it appeared 12 years ago, it is still on the best-selling list. It has been, uh, it has had, uh, like, I don't know, 15, uh, has been 15 times uh, re uh, republished uh, in Ukraine, and, uh, um, and uh, it is, well, the, uh, I don't know, uh, it's been, it's been uh, named by the public um, the book that influenced Ukrainian society most within 15 years of independence. There was a sociological poll. And it was a huge scandal when it appeared. Uh, it was a real outburst. Uh, I mean, uh, not, only liter uh, not only in terms of literature, but in terms of politics, society, you know, male-female family relations and national identity first and foremost. Uh, because um, what was uh, so touching, uh, and still is in many ways, uh, was precisely the attempt uh, to scrutinize um, national history in terms of a woman's body language, the translation of the historical traumas of the 20th century onto the woman's body language. 
And that was the biggest cultural shock. Красиві діти. У нас мали б бути красиві діти. Елітна порода. Ліпше не згадувати, так? Та ні, воно якось і не болить уже. Пам'ятається думками, а не чуттями. І невідомо, що гірше. Що правда, то правда. В рабстві народ вироджується. Тломи, що заповнюють київські автобуси. Всі оті сутулі, пом'яті лицями чоловіки на жокейські вивернутих ногах. Жінки поховані під тюленистим коливанням сиром'ясного тіста. Молодики з дебільним сміхом і вовчим прикусом, що пруть на пролом, не розбираючи дороги, не вступишся, зіб'ють з ніг і не зауважать. І дівулі з грубо вималюваними поверх шкіри личинами. Щесть шмаровидло, і оголиться гладенька яйцеподібна поверхня, як на полотнах декіріко. Та стійкою аурою якоїсь липкуватої недомитості. То наче речі змайстровані нелюбовно, аби як. Навіть чекнув.